Welcome back, one and all, to Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I am the Dark Seraph, and last time, shit got real. Apocalypse gods, tsunami, drowned child, probably more than one. You know, normal stuff. Just, 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 just the normal, the normal day for Lara Croft. <clears throat> mean, seriously. Okay. Lara Croft, a hailstone went through his head. Miguel is not alive. I'll keep this for later. Completely unarmed right now. So that's a thing. A silver crown mountain. I'm getting closer. Someone's over there. I have to get to them. And the music's kind of nice. These visuals, oh, okay, look great. I'm playing this on standard PS4, I don't have a pro. Okay. Plane wreckage. Campsite. I didn't know the storm had hit so hard. This is all my fault. I should have listened to Jonah, thought it through. I never should have taken that dagger. I hope no one else was hurt. No other village destroyed. I need to stop these cataclysms before it's too late. Okay. A whole lot of skill. And we have Seeker, Scavenger, and Warrior skills. And those are unavailable. That could be useful. This is a little bit confusing with how they're doing this. Wait, I still have a few skill points, and some cost more than one skill point. I don't know how I'm going to actually like that.
no knife or anything. I have no gear. Part of the plane landed here. My gear is in that cargo. I'll need a tool to open that. I need something to cut that down. Might be a sharp piece of scrap in that section of the rack. Yeah, but how am I supposed to get up there? Ah, scramble point. Okay. Won't be able to open that without a tool. Really? Bad eels. Hope that eel ain't poisonous. Are there poisonous eels in the Amazon? Probably. to find something to sharpen it. I can use this. Still need more though. There's an optional tomb nearby. I'm gonna have to explore that later. Exactly what I was looking for. Just need a bit more. Man, that's not gonna do me any good until I can get my gear. I'll explore that tomb after I find all my gear. How does that sound? Got everything I need. Should head back to camp. should be sharp enough.
And you just happen to have a convenient scabbard for it. Something's still holding the supplies up. Ah, there's a second rope tethering them. Yes, now I can get my gear back. Oh, right here. It'll be your bow, anyway. Why didn't I pack all my equipment together? Miss Croft? Anyone? Come in! Miguel? Where are you? He's still alive? Hold on, hold on. Before I do that, tomb. Plus, I got another skill point I can use. Let's pop in on that. Okay, that's useful what kind of bow upgrades do I have oh and some other outfits such as old school tomb raider more old school tomb raider and old school tomb raider with a bomber jacket. Oh, no thanks. Oh, a relic. <sighs> no. You're going to forgive me. I'm dealing with a head cold right now. It's some chest congestion, so my voice ain't going to be exactly up to snuff. Where did I see the way to get there? I don't remember now. This way. I... Oh, for God's sake.
I found it by accident. Let's try around this bend of trees. Here it is. Course. That figures. Don't have all my gear back yet. I'd settle for his sister, Maya. Anyone knows what I'm talking about, you're awesome. Oh, you grew up watching PBS. This is the flight log from our plane. Miguel made notes about the long-term weather forecast. Warm, hot, and dry for the next three days. Highs in the low 30s, mostly clear skies with nothing but light rain expected. Based on his other entries, if Miguel had thought the chances of a severe storm were better than half, he wouldn't have flown us at all. But there was no storm predicted, let alone something serious. Alright. Every part of the world seems to have its own mythical, forest-dwelling, bipedal creature. Around here, it's known as the Sisamite, the guardian of the forest. Described as large and ape-like, it's rumored to kill male humans on sight. It takes the females to its cave for mating purposes. Oh, that's lovely. Friggin' South American Bigfoot. <laughs> There's truth behind every myth. Miguel? <sighs> Whatever those remains are, I've been there a while. Hi there, big kitty. <laughs> big hungry kitty. Two big hungry kitties. Holy shit. No, no, no. Oh, God. Got to be careful here. Hmm. 
Yeah, I figured this would be happening. Oh, come on! That's it. You can help. Ah! Where is it? No! Shit! No! No! Down kitty, down kitty! Who's the big cat now? Oh, you're still pissed and still hungry. Didn't like your smell. I guess. I don't know. That's part of the wreckage. Jonah! Actually, I have not edited the other videos yet. I haven't got around to that. The plane! Jonah, are you there? Tough guy. I thought I got you killed. Hey, do you know what happened to Miguel? He didn't make it. What's wrong with your arm? Uh, some sort of parasite. I was looking for some warm wood, but it doesn't grow around here. Let me see. <laughs> what are you doing? If we leave it in there, it'll only get worse. Sit. <sighs> you have to cut it out? You sure you know what you're doing? Uh, <laughs> I had something similar happen to me when I was a child in Egypt. I won't lie, it's gonna hurt. You think that storm from earlier was the storm? The one from the mural? 
think maybe we should stop and take stock. We've been pushing so hard forward, <laughs> flying into that storm. I didn't think it was going to be that bad. I... Well, I should have insisted we turn back. I mean, I get it. You lock onto a problem and everything else just disappears. I'm with you. It's my choice, most of the time. But if we die, who stops the cataclysms? Who keeps Trinity from doing what they want? Sometimes I feel like I have to keep going, and if I don't, then I'll just let everyone down. But maybe for the sake of a few hours. We could have turned back. <laughs> Maybe we should give him a name. Okay. Eli? My cousin. He's always trying to get under my skin. <laughs> Goodbye, Eli. I got a friend named Eli. I haven't actually talked with him in a while. Kind of a strange person. Thanks. Eli, if for some reason you're watching this, let it be known. I think you're a freak, but a pretty cool guy. We can rest with you. Sounds good. I think we can see the village through the vines over there. It's such a relief to have Jonah back, especially after Miguel. At least Jonah didn't ask what happened. The Jaguars. I don't want him to worry. We have to stay sharp if we're going to get ahead of Trinity. Yeah. I don't have enough hide or really anything to do in the upgrades. Yeah, that, that is jarring how out of place that is. I'm a little scared that there's real-time cutscenes, so... I'm in this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Shadow of the Tomb Raider as I explore more of the jungle with good old Jonah. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph, signing off.